Hey, Blessings Church Family Prayer Warriors, God bless you on this Thursday already, July 20th. Thank you for taking some time out to have a time of prayer and a little devotional in his word. Amen. Again, we're doing the uh, one year New Testament together. You can get that on our website. It's the U version that we're doing. You can still hop in on that one. Anyway, we're up to Acts chapter 22, and just a couple verses here. This is Paul's defense. Now, what happened as I journeyed and came near Damascus at about noon, suddenly a great light from heaven shone around me, and I fell to the ground. Then I heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? So I answered, Who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom you are persecuting. Who was Saul persecuting? The church, us. And what did Jesus say? You're persecuting me. We are one with him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, so today we have the Middle East that we're praying for is a creative access, number 31 on your prayer, prayer map. Please pray for all the believers partnering with us who are doing Ministry day in and day out. Work here is challenging due to many factors. Security is an issue. So please pray for the protection of workers as they go out to share the gospel and their families who face persecution. Pray for those who risk their lives for the sake of the gospel. I think we can do that today. Amen. And then in the United States, number 27 and 28. Illinois, 12.6 million, 20% evangelical Christians. Indiana, 6.7 million population, 31% evangelical Christians. And then our prayer focus today is civil servants. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Lord, as we start our day or midday or end of day, Lord, we give you the praise. I love how your word says, from the rising of the sun, to the time that it goes down, the name of the Lord is to be praised. So we praise you and honor you on this fine day. We praise you and thank you that this is the only time that we're going to live on Thursday, July 20th in 2023. So we want to give it to you. You said, set our affection on things above and not on things that assert. You said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto us. So we set our affection on you today. Lord, as we come to our time of prayer, we just read this that's going on in this Middle East, this area that's being, um, that this group is going out to minister, Lord. And they're asking for prayer, for protection, Lord, for protection over their families. And I just thank you, Lord, that you are the God of protection. You are the one who watches over us. Lord, we know that there are more people becoming martyrs now than even back from the early church. But we know that we can pray, we can believe you. And Lord, if some die in the faith, that they receive that special crown, the martyr's crown. But we pray According to this prayer request that says, pray for the security, pray for the workers, pray for their families against this persecution, for those that risk their lives for the sake of the family, we lift them up before you. Today, we lift up before you Illinois and Indiana in our country, Lord, and we pray, Father, for these two areas, Lord, and we pray for the gospel to go forth mightily. We lift up every church and every work in these two states. And we pray, Father, for strength. We pray for the church, not so-called churches. We pray for those that are preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, the remnant that's out there. You got us everywhere, Lord. Here in the state of New Jersey, there in Illinois and in Indiana, and throughout our country, we pray for the United States of America. Lord, we pray for what we're seeing. We're seeing things that are just not good, Lord. Yet morality is top, and we're seeing a destruction in that. 
But what we're seeing, the onslaught against political opposition and, and elections and things like that, these things ought not so to be in a free nation. So we're, we don't know where this is going, but Lord, evil is abounding in our nation. We are looking up. We're living in warp speed days. Scripture is being fulfilled. But Lord, while we're here, we still want to see law and order. We want to see justice blindfolded so that it's fear on every end. It's fear to this party. It's fear to that party. It's fear to every end. So we pray for our nation. We pray for those that are in authority in the political realm, in businesses, in arts and entertainment, in the media, in families, Lord, marriages, in education, in, in uh, churches, Lord. We pray that things are done right in Jesus' name. We lift up the prayer cards that have come in this week and also the prayer requests that have been called in or emailed in. And we lift up the needs of fellow brothers and sisters. And we pray, Almighty God, for the strength that they need, the wisdom that they need, the provision that they need, the guidance that they need, the help that they need, the healing that they need. Lord, we know what your word says, that the thief comes not before to steal, kill, and to destroy. You've come that we might have life and that more abundantly. So every good and every perfect gift is from above. So if this is what your word says, we pray for good gifts upon brothers and sisters. We pray for healings today for those that need healing. Right now, those that have been operated on for a quick recovery, Lord. And we thank you for all of this in Jesus' name. I lift up my brothers and sisters that are with me today this precious church family that you have brought together, and even others that join with us from other states, Virginia, the Carolinas, on and on. Lord, the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us his shalom, shalom. We thank you for your peace. We thank you for your guidance. We thank you, Lord, that you are watching over each and every one of us, our families, that you're a good God and you love us dearly. And today, as we wrap up now, we worship you, our God, as we are looking up because our redemption is drawing nigh, that Jesus came the first time and he will definitely come the second time. Oh, how we long for that day. But till that moment, use our hands, use our mouth, use our eyes, use our heart, Lord, to live before you. Lord, that we choose to stay humble under your mighty hand, that you can lift us up at the proper time. We praise you and thank you for this fine new day. We give you all the glory and all the honor that's due your name. We love you, sir. We love the Lord Jesus, and we love the Holy Spirit. We look forward to seeing your face, seeing our loved ones, seeing the holy angels of God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Woo! Got pumped up just praying a little with you guys today. Thank you so much. Thank you for this means that literally hundreds are praying with us today. It's an awesome thing, amen. Please share it. Please put a thumbs up so other people see it, that they see there's value in this and will join together. Amen. God bless you. Have a great Thursday. And I hope I see you up there. But if I don't see you up there and we're still here, see you tomorrow. God bless.